Hi and welcome to another how-to video on youtube.com slash home edition. This video is about folder permissions. Um, here I have some old folders from a previous installation of Windows on my D drive that I would like to delete. So let me just show you what happens. I'm going to click on delete. Are you sure you want to move this to the recycle bin? Yes. But then I get this error message. Folder access denied. You need permission to perform this action. You require permission from trusted installer to make changes to this folder. You can try again, but nothing's gonna happen. So here's what you do. You right click this folder, you click properties. Okay. Click on security. And as you can see, there's this trusted installer right there. So what I recommend you do is you click advanced okay then you find the user account you're using and here here I am I'm right here and I only have read and execute permissions so I'm gonna click on change permissions okay so I gotta find my account again right there I'm gonna edit these permissions I'm gonna give myself full control okay and I'm going to check this box, apply these permissions to objects and or containers within this container only. Okay. I'm also going to check this box, replace all child object permissions with inheritable permissions from this object. Okay. I'll just click OK. This will explicitly, def this will replace explicitly defined permissions on all dependents of this object with inheritable permissions from program files x86. x86. Okay. Yes, I want to continue. Oh, look at this. I get access denied. Okay. So cancel out of this. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start again. We're gonna click on properties. Click on security. I'm going to take my user account. I'm going to give myself full control. So here I am. Full control. Click apply. Can't do it. The reason I can't do it is because I am not an owner. So let's fix that problem. I'm going to right click the folder again. Go to security. Um, click advanced. I'm gonna click on owner, then I'm gonna click on myself, which I can't, so I'm gonna click edit. Now I select myself, I check that checkbox, replace owner on subcontainers and objects. Click apply. If you have just taken ownership of this object, you will need to close and reopen the object properties before you can view or change permissions, okay? Okay, so now I am the owner. Let's just verify this. So if I'm the owner, let's give myself full control. Okay. So now I have full control. I'll click OK. So I should be able to delete it now, right? Because I gave myself full control and I am the owner. Let's see. No. you require permission from XPC to make changes to this folder. So now, right click this folder, properties, security, click advanced. Now, pick your user account, which I am right here, Lex, Lex PC. Okay, so I change permission, pick my user account, and I edit. And I do have full control. Why does it say special? Let's just look at this real quick. This folder, subfolders so and files. So make sure you check that. And also check this. Apply these permissions to objects and or containers within this container. Okay. So now I click OK. So now it says full control here, which is great. We want to make sure every folder and file in there gets these same exact permissions. So you want to replace all child object permissions with inheritable with inheritable permissions from this object. 
Now click apply. Now you see a scan through all the files. Which I didn't do. So just click OK. And OK. And now, if I go to delete it, it's finally gone. Well, that's how you do it. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. Please hit subscribe, it's right there. And also, show me some love. Hit the thumbs up button somewhere over here. Alright, peace.